Hi, my name is Joelle. I'm a first year here at the University of Toledo with a dual major of marketing and supply chain management with a Spanish minor. I grew up in Midland, Michigan, which is about two and a half hours north of here. And some things that I'm involved in on campus are women in business leadership, Parks Tower Hall Council, and Levis Leadership. In this vlog, I'm going to be talking about Parks Tower and the community I've built here and how I make it all feel like home. So I chose Parks Tower to live in compared to some of the other residence halls for several factors, but the main reason is because Parks Tower is the only dorm on campus that is home to only freshmen and first years. So I kind of went into it with the perspective that everyone who lives here is gonna be in the same boat. We're first years looking for ways to get connected on campus and meet new people. Parks Tower is also really centrally located on campus. So we're right across from the rec center and really close to Student Union, the Ottawa Dining Hall, and close to the academic side of campus as well. So in the beginning of the year, when I wasn't too sure of which pathways were the quickest to take, Parks Tower was a good starting point as it was pretty centrally located to all the rest of the buildings on campus. Hi, we're in the second floor of Parks Tower. We're currently in the fireplace lounge area. I'm meeting here for Hall Council. Everyone say hi. So over in this area, we have a study lounge. So there are some couches over here, some chairs, some booths. There's people currently studying in that study lounge right now. Some whiteboards and just a really cool area to come down if you don't want to go over to the library when it's cold. Hi guys, I'm currently on the floor seven lounge. Tonight is game night. So this is what our lounge looks like. On this little area we have a whiteboard, we have a TV, sometimes we play football games on there, some tables and chairs, and these are the residents of Floor 7. Go Rockets! So another feature that Parks Tower has is its own computer lab on the second floor. So I'm gonna show it off to you real quick. So it has a bunch of Dell computer tops. It's really convenient if your computer died or you just want a quiet space to study. And then also in the computer lab, it has its own printer. So if you need to print off a lab manual the night before, or if you have a paper that you need to print, it's all convenient right here for you. So we are currently in the basement of Parks Tower, which is where all of our washers and dryers are held. So on the left side, we have all of our washers. And then on the right side, we have a whole wall of dryers. And then if you need utility sinks, there are two provided on the left side. It's typically pretty busy on Sundays, so I like to do my laundry during a weekday evening to try and beat the busyness. Another feature of the basement is that Parks has its very own fitness room, which is really convenient if it's maybe too cold to walk over to the rec or you just wanna get a quick workout in and don't wanna leave the comfort of the building. So let's take a look. Here is the fitness room. You walk in and there's one treadmill and to the left there are a bunch of ellipticals and then we have this open space right here sometimes my friends and I like to come down and do yoga and then you have two stationary bikes and then this TV powers on and it's connected to a few channels so you can exercise and watch something so we are currently on the 11th floor, which is a nourish floor, which means that it has a kitchen in its common area. And so there are three different types of lounges in parks, nourish, connect, and study. So this is what the kitchen and dining area and lounge area looks like for the nourish. And then this is the kitchen area. You have a bar stool and a little table. And then included in the kitchen area is a sink some dish soap, and then for cooking, there's an oven, stove top, and microwave. So this is another style lounge that Parks Tower has. 
it's a social lounge so it involves a bunch of couches some chairs and then you can rent out some xbox games and looks like some people's in there now Hi. can you guys like 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 go back and forth <laughs> okay. Good job. Come here. Go. That's what I was last time. How did you get four in the? Oh, I can't stop for you. <laughs> This is the lofted bed. You can go out lofting them, but we thought it would be more room if we did. And for the most part, we like it. And this is my roommate, Mark. I'm Mark. Hi, I'm Ella. My roommate, Isabel, and I live here on the seventh floor in the handicapped room. This is the style of closet we have with a more of a walk-in look. Um, we both have our own desks and our, our beds are both um, unlofted. It's a little bit more spacious and the flooring is very nice in here. Um, we really love it and I would definitely recommend living here. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back in Ellen Isabel's room at the end of the day and it's a tradition of ours to come in here to kind of unwind and talk about how our days have been. It's really nice that some of my best friends I've made here at University of Toledo live just a couple doors down because it makes Toledo feel a lot more like home. The fact that we can come in after a long day, really busy, and we can just kind of unwind and talk to each other. And I'm so grateful that I met these girls and they're some of my best friends I've made here. I'm also so glad I decided to live in parks because I live close enough to commute but I really wanted to step outside my comfort zone and find a way to make friends that I wouldn't have made otherwise and I'm so grateful I chose to live here because without this I wouldn't have some of the best friends I've made here so far at UT. I know some people when they first think of the traditional dorm style of two to a room with a communal bathroom, they're kind of put off by the idea, but honestly, I like it. It's kind of fun having all your close friends nearby to you. You can get ready for bed together. You can go into the other person's room right before bed, have like late night chats. It's a really good way to help form community. And the rooms are a lot more spacious than I thought. I packed a lot less than what I could actually fit into all of my closet space. I ended up bringing the rest of my wardrobe, a bunch more stuff from home. Park Star was also recently renovated a few years ago, so our desks are a little bit more modern compared to some of the other dorms, and our beds are like the metal frame compared to the wooden frame. I know it's not that big of a deal, but that slight touch just makes it feel a little bit more modern, a little bit more like home, and cozy to me. <laughs> During the first couple of weeks, living in Parks Tower really felt like a summer camp. The energy that everyone had, just the excitement of coming to the University of Toledo, being new freshmen, college students, and just the excitement of getting to know new people. There are a bunch of activities and programs that Residence Life and just other student organizations on campus provide as a way to help get students involved and build those connections. And it was a lot of fun and great learning experiences as well. The people on my floor really helped to build off of those programs that student organizations and Residence Life provided for us. Within the first couple of weeks, we were already organizing for game nights and for the holidays we had a gift exchange that we hosted just for our floor we had a jeopardy night and all those activities are honestly some of my favorite memories from my first year of college just those bonding experiences that we kind of took into our own hands and we were able to create and have for our first year of college hey welcome to 708 come, come in, in. Okay, so on this side of the room, we have my bed and my desks. 
One feature that I really like that I added was a picture wall and some artwork that I made from back at home. It helps make Parks Tower feel a little bit more homey, having your friends and your family kind of with you through pictures. And then over here is my desk. I don't really use it for homework because I like to keep my study and my home space separate, but it's really convenient to have a whiteboard here to write out my agenda for the week. And then there's this nifty little light feature that's really convenient at night when I don't want the big overhead light up. Come over here. And I'm gonna show you my side. Here we have my bed and we have pictures of just a couple few important people in my life that I love so much. And then you have my good old aloe plant. And then over here, you have my desk. I like my roommate said, like I don't use my desk for studying as well because I like to keep it separate. And it just sometimes it just could be a little confusing. So I have my own whiteboard. I don't use UT whiteboard, even though it's really great. But I just use it for storage. And then I have my AOPI stuff because I am on in campus activities shout out to AOPI you know um and then it's just you know parks is really homey to me it makes me feel like a sense of community because every floor is different everybody else is different it's like your home away from home and family of the sort everybody comes from different backgrounds everybody doesn't look the same and everybody just makes you feel like you're one and that's most of my like most importantly like my favorite thing that I love about living in parks everybody feels like family and you don't have to worry about anything if you ever need something you can literally just go knock on your neighbor door and say hey can I get this like some of my I made some of my best friends living in parks this year and I can honestly say like I'm really grateful for the experience even my roommate like we became like besties like we're inseparable at the moment like we literally get lunch together every day after class and we even like you know it's just stuff like that makes you feel like you have a family even though like it's not your family, but they're definitely your family to sort. So over here we have the closet area. I was honestly so shocked when I came in and saw how much storage I had. I definitely recommend getting command hooks. It makes it easy to hang a simple jacket like this or to hang posters over there. And then inside the closet, it's kind of nice. It's like a walk-in in a sense. You have a area over here to hang your clothes. You have a whole dresser a mirror we can get ready in the morning like this and it's a lot more spacious than what i think your traditional uh dorm looks like i'm so grateful that i decided to come to the university of toledo and dorman parks tower it's really become my home away from home and i've met some lifelong friends here thank you so much for watching and go rockets